Don't worry about the language. Let, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Before I get started, please make sure you go ahead and like the video and share the content. <clears throat> this is going to be a fun one. Uh, so please make sure you guys share it so other people can see the content. So you guys are looking at the title and so you already know what I'm going to be speaking about. Uh, let's just get right into it. But before we do that, uh, I want to tell you. So on Clubhouse, you're always going to find, you know, these Shia polemicists that will go out and, you know, challenge all the Sunnis and you know, we can destroy it overnight and you Sunnis don't know what you're talking about and, you know, the whole the whole shebang. <clears throat> and I see this a lot because I'm on Clubhouse, right? And uh, mashallah, the brothers on Clubhouse are handling this. They're on top of it. There's a whole club. They have debates and they question the brother, you know, the Shias on, on, on Imama and uh, basic fundamentals within the Shayyu. There was, however, one particular debater from the Shi'is, uh, from the Shi'as, I'm sorry, and he's been, you know, making rooms and, and attacking the Sahaba and making takfir and typically how the Rawafid behave. And I did not have a chance to interact with him. Uh, I generally don't go to their spaces. I refuse to do so, I will never go to a Rafidi space where they have uh, the upper hand uh, because I know that whenever the discussion goes s you know, south for them, all they're going to do is, is, is throw la'an and begin insulting the companions, radiallahu anhum. So me, personally, I don't go to those spaces. Uh, but, you know, I don't know who this guy is but he goes by the name of Kakashi. And one of the brothers had, I guess, entered the room and uh, was speaking to him. And apparently this guy thinks he's very big. He has all the arguments to destroy Ahl sunnah and to make everybody Shia. And one of the things he is known for is saying that, you know, you guys don't know Arabic. You guys are jahil. You don't know basic meanings of the Quran and so forth and so on. So, it's no secret that many of the Shias don't know how to recite the Quran. When I say Shia, by the way, I'm not talking about a layman. There are laymans on both sides that don't know how to recite Quran that well. We're talking about their mu'ammim, like people that actually, you know, uh, have dedicated their life to studying at the Hawza and teaching about uh, the Shia and trying to recruit people to their paganism. You know, they are ones that have difficulty reciting a, a single surah of the Qur'an properly. I don't know, and this is just, I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I personally don't know of any <clears throat> uh, Islamic, I'm sorry, Shia ayatullah or imam that can recite Qur'an properly with the proper rules of tajweed and uh, giving each letter its rights and so forth and so on. I don't know of any especially from their major maraja, I don't know of any of them, which is sad, right? I mean, you would think that one who teaches the Qur'an, one who makes tafsir of the Qur'an, one who's inviting to the religion should have this basic thing, you know, completed, right? Or at least know how to do it. But nonetheless, um, they don't. But anyways, <clears throat> so the brother challenges this guy to recite Qur'an. And what he does is, uh, I think the guy was reluctant to do so. So I think the brother in the video clip, what he does is, he goes on to uh, recite a surah to say, I'll do it first, and then you go, right? In order to hopefully, hopefully make it easy for him. So let's have a look at the video, and I'm going to react to it. Uh, in the middle of, uh, you know, we'll talk about it when the video is done. So I think we're going to start with this one. Here we go. All right. So I think this is the, and by the way, sorry for the poor video quality, the brother and audio quality. The brother had recorded it from his phone 
and because it was on the fly and obviously he doesn't you know I, I think there's a difficult it's too difficult to actually have it you know on the computer I think there's a whole since uh, Clubhouse is a application right so let's get right into it whatever uh, surah you want it can be surah, uh, yani surah al-ikhlas if you want it can be surah al-kawthar it's all about the recitation أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويل لكل همزة لمزة الذي جمع مالا وعدده يحسب أن ماله أخلده كلا لينبذن في الحطمة وما أدراك ما الحطمة نار الله الموقدة التي تطلع على الأفئدة إنها عليهم مؤصدة في عمد ممددة ما شاء الله uh, So this is the Sunni brother and ما شاء الله he recited very well ما شاء الله very good recitation of the Quran just like someone should be able to recite the Quran. Uh, now we're going to go on. I think the next part of the video is the Shia here, Kakashi, is going to, which he goes by the name of Kakashi. He's going to, I think, now recite, uh, you know, because the brother said, well, I've done it, now you do it. So let, let's have a listen. You, you, you want me to go for it? Here you go. Very well read, General. Very well read. Go okay, no problem. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويل لكل همزة نمزة What? 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 Did you guys hear that? ويل لكل همزة لمزة What? What? Even the brother is reacting. Like, what is this guy saying? Who is he cursing every single Hamza? Hamza? Like, it's not Hamza. He's saying Hamza. Hamza is a letter, right? So, I think in in classical Arabic, I think the word Hamza it comes from the root which is meaning to cut something, right? But is it's not a name, right? What what is he saying? Hamza, Lamza? I, I don't know what he's saying. I I don't know. But uh, <laughs> what? Anyways, I, I mean, from the first verse of the surah, يعني, I, I don't know what to say. What? Already missed it. What? What? Why? Why can't this man recite Quran? What is he saying? This is a different. This is straight up tahrif of the Quran. Like, what is he saying? This is a basic surah that nine-year-old, ten-year-olds recite, especially the people who, like, just you know, most young kids they memorize Jazamma, and this is like one of the early surahs they know how to recite. This is like fundamentals. <laughs> What is muqida? What is this? What is what is he saying? This is a, what what is is this like a special qira of the like ahl al bayt according to them quote unquote ahl al bayt they have their own riwayah riwaya now I, I don't understand what is this this is straight up tahrif. Tatliu. <laughs> Guys, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, is this even Quran? <clears throat> you know what this is reminding me of? The, 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 the example of in the, in the hadith where one of the Sahabas were reciting the Quran in a different uh, ahrab of the Quran, and Umar bin Khattab took him to the Prophet and said, if, if, you know, if, he said, if, you, if, this, is, if this is not the Quran, I'm going to behead you. Right? And the Prophet confirmed that it was a valid recitation of the Quran. But, man, imagine someone hearing this and him having to justify reciting this way and inventing 
a, his own recitation or words in the Quran. This is the harif of the Quran. Ya jahil. You, I mean, this is embarrassing. This is somebody who is coming out and he's saying that Ahl Sunnah does not know the Quran, does not know Arabic, does not know how to recite. Imagine this, Surah, Surah Hamaza. Surah Humaza, I'm sorry. This <coughs> Surah Humaza is like something basic that even little children memorize. This is something so basic. Some people recite this every day in their salah because it's one of the smaller surahs. Right now, this man is inventing his own words, and he, uh, I mean, wait, let me let me just let the video continue. Mashallah, it was Mashallah. beautiful, beautiful. Ahmed, <laughs> beautiful. Mashallah, this is beautiful. Like, and the funny part is, like, he's saying "Sadaq Allahu Al-Azim" and chesting his, you know, pu putting his chest out like he did something, like puffing it out, like, yeah, I can recite Quran. This guy could not recite Quran. This is laughable. This should be embarrassing to every single. Uh, you know, Shia out there, especially if you are using this man to be one of your polemicists on a public platform. By the way, I've never found a single one of them able to recite Quran properly. Not one of them. Not a single one of them. And this is by far one of the worst, honestly. One of the worst I've heard. I'm not saying all of them can't, but I've never come across any one of them. And the worst part, about, I'm not sure what is worse. Is it worse that the ladies who are Shia at the end we're like, MashaAllah, MashaAllah, this is so beautiful. What is beautiful? The tampering of the Quran is beautiful, Ya Jahila. This is something that you would encourage. I mean, not only does it show that they don't know Quran, they don't read Quran, they will just simply, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, what do you call, uh, give praise to whatever it is that the Shia do without any knowledge of whether it's right or wrong. Just simply for the fact that they are they are Shia together, they will say Masha Allah, Salawat, Salu ala Nabi. Like they, they, they will go crazy for nothing for something that was done entirely wrong, and this is the the one of the biggest problems with the Shia. The people don't think for themselves. They simply belong to this cult idea that there are 12 imams and they're infallible and have to, you know, almost make them into a demigod. And anyone that believes that idea and defends that idea is everything they say is perfect and good. No matter if it's authentic, if it's a lie, it doesn't matter. The same way why if you go to Twitter, you'll find like people taking quotes from like 18th and 19th century thinkers and, and, and writers and they will say, and they will just replace him, that writer or, or, or author with the Imam Ali. And they'll put it on Twitter and they think, MashaAllah, Salawat, Salawat, Allahumma, Salli, Allah, Muhammad. Like, and they'll go crazy over it, not even knowing if it's authentic. And this is the problem. So, I think we've demonstrated pretty much, you know, what the problem is with these people. Uh, this is a clear demonstration of yet another, uh, you know, Shia who is pretending to be knowledgeable, pretending to be able to destroy Ahl Sunnah, pretending to know more Quran and more of the Arabic language than Ahl Sunnah. And you can see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala humiliated him. I don't think this man will show his face back into these rooms without being hum humiliated. And I, I would advise anybody on Clubhouse, if you're following these rooms and this, um, and, and, and this person, that you should now change his name from Kakashi or Kakafir to Hamza Lamza. This is a new nickname for him. Hamza Lamza, whatever that means to him, this is the name. And he's making, you know, <laughs> he's making a name for himself by inventing new words. And, and, and uh, or new new verses, we should say. So we call him a liar and a fraud, just like many of their mu'ammim. And that's it. It's a wrap. That's the end of this reaction video. Make sure you like the video and share the video. And we'll be back, inshallah ta'ala, next time with another another video. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mussy buzz, mussy buzz, mussy buzz, mussy buzz.